morning everybody welcome back to my wings of refuge i'm excited today y'all i'm always excited to be able to share a little something with you and maybe just maybe you'll learn something if not maybe you can add something and teach me and that's fine too so today i wanted to share with you a little about our composting system that we use so this monstrosity here behind me you will see bin one two and three this monstrosity my loving husband built for me and i am so grateful because he made it an easy design for our needs now if you're not familiar with composting you might consider this book This is a fabulous book that will help give you some tips. But as with us, one of the things that we have done is we've read a lot, but then we figure out what works best for us. So a lot of times when people are composting, they do it on different levels and even different sizes. And so if you're more of a lazy composter, you might simply put all of your chicken manure or your cow manure basically in one large pile and let it sit there for a year and then decide to use it. And that works too. So really it's whatever works best for you, but it's great to have a few fundamentals and tips to know what works best. So for us, we built this three bay system and it's probably a little bit larger bays than what you might find for the average person um, because we have a lot of cow manure. We also have chicken manure and we have donkey manure and we have rabbit manure, which the rabbit manure is a cold manure and doesn't have to be composted. Uh, but we do have hay bits and sometimes other things mixed in with our rabbit manure so we do compost it anyway so composting is an excellent way to have all of those seeds and solids and different particles in there broken down really well before you use it in your garden and so this is how we do ours now we will put lots of different things in here i don't have a lot of food scraps if we have food scraps then we typically would feed those to the chickens and the ducks and so it really depends on what we have but i'm not saying we never have because if anything were to get moldy or yucky and something i'm not willing to eat myself it can be composted um, we also put paper products in there as well sometimes and I've got some great footage for you because I want to show you and explain to you one of the great things about composting at least for us is the black soldier fly larva now a lot of people compost maybe you compost already and this is not a how-to on composting video exactly but the black soldier fly larva addition to your compost will drastically speed things up i'm talking wow uh, <laughs> so when we put things in bin one and we keep an eye on that temperature and when that temperature is ready or or it's not as hot anymore uh we move it to bin two that aerates it and it stirs it up and it gets it cooking again and when that's finished we move it to bin three and bin three is typically ready to go into the garden so bin one is loaded with black soldier fly larva now that larva showed up here on its own and i am grateful but if you don't have any and you're looking for some you can purchase those and i really do highly recommend them because they have an amazing way of breaking things down quicker i'm talking really fast and so I really can't give you a time frame. I was trying to think and trying to put my finger on it, but every time we compost, we put different things in there. And so it really depends on what you're putting in your compost, how quickly it might mature. So it's really hard to put a number on it, but we are not leaving this in here a year by any means, nowhere near it. I'm thinking it's more like weeks, um, not even months, maybe a couple of months. Um, but I mean, it moves so fast. And because we have so much, it moves from bin to bin rather quickly. And so these black soldier fly larvae have a way of breaking down things. They love the yucky stuff. The more smelly and nasty, the more they love it. And the quicker they break it down. Isn't that wonderful? Remember recently, I told you about the 
dried yellow corn. Now corn right out of your garden might break down rather quickly. It's loaded with moisture. But dried corn out of a feed bin is rather dry and it can sit around forever. But that black soldier fly larva can eat through it in a in a zip. I mean, it's super fast. And so that is amazing. So if you're looking to speed up because you're needing a lot more compost, we use a lot of compost. We have loads of flower gardens, but we also have a massive garden and we also have orchards. And so we love compost. And so what a wonderful way to be able to keep using it year round and very often. And this never has a smell. It might smell initially when you first put something really yucky in there but the smell goes away really fast and I really do believe that has a lot too to do with the black soldier fly larva they can make things disappear let's take a chunk of banana for instance we can put a chunk of banana in bin one that's where the most soldier fly larva is because that is where the yuckiest part is because bin two it's already begin to break down fairly well so when you take that and you put a chunk of banana in there 21 minutes later, that banana is gone. Here's a time lapse. Let's take a look. Okay, so if that is not convincing enough, I'm not sure what is. And so, yes, typically, I guess you could say, we are feeding our black soldier fly larva. We put lots of things in our compost and we watch it disappear. We've done newspapers. We've done all, all different things, uh, chunks of apple, apple cores. If you are looking for design work on how to build yours, this design is something that my husband came up with for ease of use for us, really. And so this whole front gate is actually completely removable. But this top part, as you see here, folds down. And it's very simple and so this way nothing falls out the chickens really can't get in there they don't get in there um, and then we have the chicken wire but it's also lined with black um, cloth and, um, and it's, it's like the weed barrier that you can use in your gardens which we really don't use that but we do here but this keeps things from falling out as well but if you need to access you simply have a great way of accessing it You can easily check the temperature, keep an eye on the temperature, and you can keep an eye on those worms. Or if you're feeding a little tiny something, uh, it's easy access. But when we're ready to scoop this out or ready to dump something in, you can simply remove the entire front gate. That is so incredibly handy, especially if you're willing to wheelbarrow in and you're going to be moving this from bin one to bin two, which is a great way to aerate it to get that temperature going again. So you see here, I have my thermometer. And we keep an eye on that thermometer. And so anytime it starts reaching uh, 100 or below temperature, it is time to either stir it or feed it or move it over to the next bin. And so that's one of the things that we can do to keep an eye on it. And usually it seems as when it's the hottest and it's the most active is when the black soldier fly larva is also the most active. And so here in bin one, you can often feel the heat coming off and you can also see the most black soldier fly larva. This is right on the very top. Can you see the black soldier fly larva? 
and that is right on top. If you were to move this top layer, you would see bazillions more. This is the thermometer that we use. This will tell you how hot your pile is. And you'll see that when it's over 120 degree, it is very hot. Otherwise, you're in the active zone or in the steady zone. Anything below that is ready for the garden. And one of the wonderful things about that is we have access to wonderful compost ready for the garden at all times of the year. And right now, we are gearing up for fall gardening. I hope you are too. We're getting those beds ready, cleaning them out, adding in fresh compost, starting our seeds. I hope you are too. This is simply what works best for us. Y'all, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Y'all have a great week and the weather's getting cooler. Fall is on its way and I can't wait. See you next time, y'all.